my name is Omar Lagares. I've been basically writing since just before I was a teenager. So I was about 12 years old when I wrote my first poem. Uh, yeah, just I, I ended up being quite a reflective person, and through that, I wrote a lot of kind of pieces that were very, uh, you know, experiential th things that I've seen in the world and like things that I've, you know, things that have in fact factored on me as a person. And yeah, just a thought and a thesaurus is all it takes. <laughs> I, I mostly write in prose. I, I have a few, few uh, poems that are in verse, but they're, they're quite rare. Um, purely because I, I find the, the kind of... Um, I, I find writing with rules is a lot more restrictive. Um, my inspiration, uh, I, I'd say, well, I'm quite a fan of a lot of uh, beat poetry, um, a, a lot of rappers as well, uh, such as like Loki, Akala, Lauren Hill, um, things like that. Um, also, to be fair, a lot of the people who have been on this stage um, in Open Your Mouth have, have been very inspiring. I've, I've drawn a lot of inspiration to write through them. The highlight of my creative career. Oh, that's a difficult one. Um, I think I'd have to say, well, basically, probably when uh, Mike and I got, uh, well, we, uh, we were doing an Open Your Mouth uh, event, and one of, the, one of the performers, he was a comedian, came up to me and says, Omar, I like the poetry you do. I want to see you do that on the Guildhall stage. And at that point, my, my jaw just dropped, and when we, when we performed at the Guild, it was such an amazing event, really good fun. Um, that, that was, I, I ended up uh, doing a rap set, but still, there, there was one of my, uh, you know, all-time all -time classics, the, the beat poem, What's Wrong? <laughs> I think the best audience response I can hope for is people to just reflect and, and think, okay, have some sort of feeling from what I've, what I've just done, you know? Um, I think that it, it's important to, uh, yeah, that art is supposed to move you. And I think that is the, the most important response. Well, I'm a very, very uh, activist, uh, politically activistic person. I, I'm, uh, I, I think egalitarianism is very important to me, uh, equality and, and the, the, the kind of just basically embracing people. People are very important and also their experiences and how, how they become who they are. And yeah, recognition of that. Yet another traveller has been and gone. This ward is just a pit stop. We wait in here, we wait in here, whilst listening to the ominous tick-tock of the thin red hand of the analog clock. Faces come and go. Short acquaintances made with fellow patients. People from all walks of life, united by one thing, our temperamental hardware. The people in blue wear a toxic smile as they stare at us, with secret knowledge of our condition, secret knowledge of our fate, Checking our blood pressure, oxygen levels, pupil response, only to tick a chart and leave the room. Not a pleasantry exchanged. Nil by mouth, reads a sign hanging over my bedpost. No food for this patient, the poison won't set in. Hours pass, my hunger grows, only to be told that my surgery has been delayed for yet another day. Never has a pile of bread and cheese tasted so glorious. The following day, moment of truth. The anaesthetist comes to weigh me, the porter dragging my bed to the operating theatre, his expression so blank, so devoid of meaning, it's almost demonic. We arrive. The smell of disinfectant fills my nostrils, the plain white antiseptic walls reflecting the blinding light, this anaesthetist slapping and stabbing at my hand to find a vein. The cannula pierces my skin. Think of somewhere you'd like to go on holiday, they say in unison. The oxygen mask covers my face, the taste of antibacteria filling my mouth, and then the poison enters my hand, the tingling riding up my arm, consuming me slowly, putting me to sleep. How peaceful. A few hours later I wake, though it seems only a few short moments have passed. Behold this creature, 
reborn, revived, renewed. The nurse repeats my name, asks my date of birth. Do I know where I am? The poison still pulsing heavily through my veins. Beautiful intoxication hiding me from the pain. Ignorance really is bliss, as I find when the elixir wears off. And still, I return to the ward. To wait in here, to wait in here. Seeing these faces enter and exit, time seems meaningless in a place like this. What day is it? What hour? What does it matter? It's as if out there and in here are two different worlds. After living in here for so long, you forget what the outside world looks like, smells like, feels like, tastes like. The view out of the quiet room window appears surreal, like a living canvas. It's beautiful. Bring me back to reality, I plead to the horizon, as a cloud masks over the dazzling sunset till tomorrow.